it's this little guy's 100 day celebration. Some Asian cultures like China and Korea celebrate an infant's 100th day of life because it marks the end of the most vulnerable period for newborn babies and also usually signals the end to confinement or the healing period for mothers as well. So we're having a party at Sea Pot in Daly City which is a newly opened all-you-can-eat hot pot and K-barbecue spot. The entrance has this really pretty wall of flowers which is a perfect photo opportunity. And as you walk inside, you start to see how big this place really is. It used to be an all-you-can-eat buffet called Moonstar, RIP, that I liked a lot, but it closed down because of COVID. But business looks really good for Seapot though. Um, almost every table was full in the main dining area. Because we had a big group, we didn't sit in the main dining area, but we did book one of their private rooms in the back. The guests soon arrived and everyone wanted a moment with the star of the day. Once everyone was settled in, we were ready to eat. And you can't eat hot pot without a good dipping sauce. Good thing they have an incredible selection of sauces at this sauce bar. It was honestly overwhelming because there were so many options to choose from. They also had these little snacks like egg rolls and fried sesame balls, but they kept running out and didn't replenish them, so I only managed to snack two for my parents. What I love about Sea Pot is the individual soup pots that you get instead of a big one that you share with several people. It makes it easier for people to cook their own food without having to stand up and reach over the table to dip their meat and veggies. I ordered the Sichuan spicy soup base. And then the first wave of food arrived. Of course, we ordered a ton of fatty beef and lamb. Gotta get the meat first before you fill up on sides and rice and stuff like that. Thank you. To help balance out all of that meat and fatty goodness, we also got some vegetables. We also wanted to try out their K barbecue, so for the grill, we ordered some short ribs, some shrimp, and pork belly. And then our other sides came. We ordered things like tofu, fish, and I think some sort of shellfish, and pork blood and fish cake. And more meat, of course. While the plating of the meat was pretty, they pre-carved all the meat and froze it together so the meat hadn't defrosted all the way yet and they were stuck to the ice. And then came the oysters, which we grilled over the barbecue. I didn't have any of this, but it looked pretty good, although I would not eat this raw. Overall, I give Sea Pot a 7 out of 10. It was really busy when we came, so service was super slow, so that's something to be aware of if you come on a weekend. In terms of food, the cuts of meat were really good and fresh. The K barbecue was good too, especially the galbi, which was marinated really well. I liked their wide selection of meats and seafood, which differentiates itself from all the other all-you-can-eat hot pot places. The soup bases, however, were only alright. They didn't really taste like much on its own. Honestly, the most impressive thing was probably the sauce bar. So many options to choose from. The only con was that they didn't have any appetizers. I love hot pot places like iPot and Sunset and Hot Pot Lounge in Richmond because they have a great selection of appetizers like soup dumplings, fried wontons, onion pancake, and all the soft drinks and ice cream you could want. Seapot focuses more on the meat selection and sauce variety and less on the other amenities. So depending on what you prioritize, this may be a place worth checking out. After everyone was done eating, we were ready to cut the cake. 
because we actually had three birthdays in the family this month, we decided to celebrate it all together. We ordered two little cakes to share, knowing that we'd all be too full to eat much dessert. Thank you. 